All new tonight, a follow up to an ongoing Where's the Money investigation. A state lawmaker is now asking questions in response to our extensive reporting on NC homeowner assistance fund delays. Since May, we've documented case after case where the state run pandemic program has failed to give mortgage help fast enough to desperate homeowners impacted by COVID-19. And now we're learning 2023 is starting off with more of the same. That is why Nate Morbido continues to ask, where's the money? And now a state representative is joining the cause. We shared our findings with several state senators and representatives who served on relevant committees before the General Assembly returned to Raleigh last week. A state representative took what we found and questioned the head of the agency responsible for this program. Another year. You love the house that you're in. You want to keep it. Another place. You it, lose sleep over it some nights. Yeah, it's very stressful. Another family trying to keep faith. I can see why people do end up homeless. Pastor Jack Lester says COVID-19 sickened him in 2020. Three months total hospital time. Leaving him unable to preach and work his security detail. Sandra Carpenter says the pandemic also limited her security job. Then the bill started piling up. It really humbles you because, you know, if you have to get in line to, to get boxes of food or call these organizations to try to help them, ask them to help you. Carpenter says she applied for mortgage help through the NC Homeowner Assistance Fund last May, yet continues to wait for her first payment, all as the past due amount she owes on her Kings Mountain home mortgage has grown to almost $8,000. I just really want to have faith. Um, that they're going to come through. They're working on the problem. Representative Nassif Majid says after hearing from us, he questioned the North Carolina Housing Finance Agency's executive director. I did have a good conversation with Mr. Farmer, who has that program. The lawmaker knows the need overwhelmed the program, but assured us, based on his conversation, the agency is making the necessary changes, including releasing partial payments in some cases. They've made adjustments now. The latest data show the program has reached a milestone, finally at the point where most households that applied have received their money. Still, as the number of pending applications continues to decrease, foreclosure notices are starting to arrive and thousands of households are still waiting for their payments. And they just told me to be patient with the process. People like Sandra Carpenter and Jack Lester. We've since shared their information with the state in hopes a little push will move things along. But even in the midst of their own troubles, their faith has them thinking of those even less fortunate. My heart really does go out to other people because I know they're struggling a lot more than we are. They've actually probably lost homes. The state tells us its contractor is focusing on the oldest applications, hiring an extra 13 case managers to focus on the part of the process that's remained the slowest, verifying people's debt with loan servicing companies. Nate Morabito, WCNC Charlotte. The latest data shows more than 25% of mortgage assistance applications that are pending are from the Charlotte area. That is one in four people. Nate and our digital team have put together a data sheet showing us how many of these applications are open in each county in the state. To see how many are pending where you live, log on to WCNC.com or you can go to our mobile app and click on Nate's article.